Most people in America expect that our American presidency, our American White House, will stand the test of time. The problem we have today is too many foreigners are coming to America expecting the freedom that American citizenship brings. You see, the liars will walk across the border. The liars will come in as students and never leave. The liars will work in our communities to infiltrate our human sexuality. One of the things that Muslims and blacks and other people that come across the border know is all they have to do is find themselves an American girl and then they're just golden. You see, Americans do not appreciate procreation is not true as that Americans are concerned with the realities of living in our communities with me and you. Americans are worried about how to produce a life worth living and a retirement worth having in the pursuit of prosperity, performance, productivity, and opportunity. America is being lost to the foreign infidels that are willing and able to take over our most what we consider as arrogant people, menial tasks. An arrogant person refused to work in a restaurant. An arrogant person like me refuses to work in a grocery store because of the debasement of the human character by the fellow employees that work there. An American citizen doesn't want to do that. And we have yet have a need to eat. And yet we have a need for vendors to provide us food at different levels and different costs and different prices so all Americans can eat. In America, we have the right to refuse someone in every way. Yet we have people from impoverished mindsets, people that run in their companies as supervisors that abuse our rights to say no to them today. You see, what most intelligent, educated, affluent, and influential people know, like me, is that someone that tries to pay for us is about to abuse us or abuse our name or abuse our information that they never got from us in some way. The foolishness of the mindset of that individual is that they didn't provide themselves education at a higher level. They also have not socially networked in any business community. They have not taken advantage of opportunities. It's not true that the liars of America steal from you and me. They take away intellectual rights. They take away copyrights. They plagiarize our work. They steal our companies. They steal our logos. They steal our mantras. They steal our missions. They even steal our monikers, which is a type of name that belongs to a person who doesn't want to give out their legal name because of the abuses of impoverished mindset like that against you and me. The livelihood of America is not fully functioning on the selling of food is not true. That every human being across America must eat and that is true. In America we have rights. We are losing our rights to say yes or no every single minute of COVID. Every single moment of a pandemic that was put upon us by God as retaliation against these impoverished mindset people who thought they'd be in power over you and me. God is ragingly mad at law enforcement, ragingly mad at Christian rights, ragingly mad at the GLBT community, and ragingly mad at doctors and nurses and other people in mental health and social work today. You see, it's the scientists and the teachers that do most of our work today. It is the scientists and technologists that bring about technological advancements today. It is the marketing of programs, the marketing of products, the marketing of people that provide and provision for America Inc. today. It is the fools in America that do not understand where their rights begin and end today.